Hello, my friend, and welcome to another fascinating video from your host, Deborah Costu, Answers About Alzheimer's, where we answer all your questions. So if you have a question for me, put it in the comments below and I will address them, every single one. So right down there in that little comment box, just type away and let me know what you have questions about and we'll make more videos on those topics. So this is a bit of a sensitive subject and it's very misunderstood by both family caregivers and professionals who are taking care of people with memory problems. Working in memory care units, assisted livings, nursing homes, et cetera, et cetera. So we all understand that different parts of the brain control different things like personality traits, communication, language, behaviors, problem solving. Our brain controls our senses. Our brain controls everything, our movements. Our brains control everything that we think, do, and say. Did I mention that our brain controls our personality traits? So with that in mind, it is critical that we are not judging people with dementia on their actions or their words because their brain is literally damaged. It's shrinking and it cannot function the way it once did. They are not responsible. Let me say that again. They are not responsible for their own actions, behaviors, and reactions. So we're going to talk today about the limbic system, which is where the sexual part of our brains are located. When the person with dementia's portion of the brain is deteriorating and dying, it can change our sexual desires at any age. Don't be fooled out there about age and sex. Sex is still a very important part of the aging process, but that's another video. But when the limbic system is deteriorating in the brain, that's when we can have um, heightened or distorted sexual desires. Some of the most common inappropriate behaviors for people with cognitive decline can include masturbating or disrobing in public, pinching, grabbing, making sexual comments. I know that it can be incredibly frustrating for those of us who are taking care of people who may be very inappropriate at times and usually we're taken off guard. And that's where we as the caregiver, we make mistakes when we're taken off guard. The more that we can talk about these scenarios and practice them and rehearse them either with other people or even in your own head, when these inappropriate disturbances arise, we can immediately know how to handle it. First and foremost, we have to remember that this is not intentional on the person with dementia's part. They are not intentionally being rude or disrespectful, and they are not a pervert, and they should not ever become the topic of discussion for the whole community. I want you to think about it this way. Think of that 85-year-old man, and think of him 30, 40 years ago. That would put him at about 40, 50 years old. What was his life like? Was he a family man? Was he a businessman? What did he do for a living? If that man 30 years ago had a crystal ball and he could see the future and he could see what he was doing or saying to others or what he was doing in public, do you think he wouldn't care? Do you think he'd be like, oh, well, whatever? Or do you think he would be embarrassed? Do you think he would say, oh my God, oh my God, I would never do that to somebody. Shoot me. If I ever get like that, kill me, put me out of my misery. Our entire lives, we are trying to build our reputation. And I think for most people, if you say something inappropriate at the wrong time, and we've all done it, we're remorseful, right? We regret it. So how do you think that person with dementia would feel if they were capable of feeling, which they're not? Think about that. The next time you're with someone 
and they say or do something inappropriate. If they were 30 or 40 years younger, would they have done that? Would that be their personality? Probably not. So don't hold it against them. They literally cannot help it. And if they could, they would, because they would be totally embarrassed. All right, so now that we've kind of laid a little groundwork, and hopefully you're a little bit more sensitive to the fact that their personalities are also under attack from the cells of the brain dying. Let's try to figure out how we can best handle these types of situations. The first one we're gonna talk about is disrobing in public. Maybe they're taking off their clothes in the middle of the living room of their own house, or maybe they're taking off their clothes in the senior living community and walking down the hallway completely naked. This is where we have to be the detective. Why are they doing that particular behavior? Because I'm sure they don't just think, oh, I'm gonna take off all my clothes and walk down the hallway and freak everybody out. Pretty sure that's not what's going on in their brain. So what is going on? Well, it could be a number of things and we might be able to figure it out and we might not ever be able to figure it out, but we have to try. So first, we need to rule out all their basic needs. Do they need to toilet? Are they hungry? Are they taking their clothes off because they're hot? Are they just disrobing because their clothes are uncomfortable? After we rule out all of the basic needs, then we need to dive a little bit deeper and we have to consider a lot of other things. What time of day is it happening? Is there some consistency there? What is going on right before they're doing this behavior? What maybe are their patterns from their past routines? So let's say someone is taking off their clothes after dinner at the same time on most days. They're doing it right after dinner and they're taking off their clothes and just walking down the hallway. It just may be that their past history was that directly after dinner, they would go and take a shower. That would make sense then, wouldn't it? We had a client that every day after dinner, she would go upstairs and take off all of her clothes, walk downstairs through her house completely naked and get into her indoor hot tub every single day. That was her routine. And she had dementia. And when the caregivers would come, she thought nothing of it. She would take off all of her clothes and walk right downstairs in front of anybody and anyone who was there. She wasn't embarrassed. It didn't even phase her because her inhibitions, that part of her brain is no longer intact. So for her, it's completely normal. She recently moved to a senior living community. And I wonder, does the community know that that was her routine? How much do they really know about her? So if she starts taking off her clothes and wandering down the hallway, are they gonna say to themselves, oh, she's just going to her hot tub? More than likely not. And she'll probably be scarred, the naked lady, and made fun of behind her back. That's not cool. That is not cool. This woman was a very prominent person in her community, very prominent. And I know she would be mortified, completely devastated if she ever knew that she was doing something inappropriate. We as the professionals and we as the caregiver have to remember who this person was because they are still that person. They're still that person, but now they have brain damage. Is that a dementia breakthrough for you? Comment below, DBT, because that should be a dementia breakthrough for you. All right, so now, how could we help this person? If we know that they're gonna take all their clothes off, then we can intercept. So right before the end of the meal, we could escort that person to their room and say, okay, it's time to get in the hot tub and help them take off their clothes and then walk them down to the bathing room. Or right at the end of the meal, escort them to an activity and distract them so that they don't just start taking off all of their clothes. 
Another great strategy or an idea might be to have a blanket tucked away nearby so that if the person does randomly decide to start disrobing, you have something that you can discreetly cover them up with and ask them to come with you to another area to protect their privacy. Isn't that what you would want? Wouldn't you want someone to discreetly cover you up and escort you out of the area? Or would you like them to just stand there and not know what to do and everybody's laughing and giggling at snickering you? Snickering about you behind your back, yelling, put your clothes back on. That's not gonna work. Not cool, not cool. We have to start training our senior living communities better. We have to role play these scenarios because they happen. And our seniors with dementia deserve better. Our whole lives we spend building our reputations and trying to be the best person that we can be, only for all of that to be stripped away with a few behaviors that we can't control because we have brain damage. And then we have a new label. We're labeled the naked lady or the pervert. It's heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. So when inappropriate behaviors occur, remember that it's due to the damage of the limbic system of the brain and they are not responsible for their own actions or verbalizations. Remember the person that they were many years ago. Help to preserve their dignity. I love coming to memory care units and assisted livings and doing employee trainings. So contact me to find out how you can have me come and train your staff. You can contact me at Deborah at AnswersAboutALZ.org. I will be doing many, many more videos on other topics ranging from masturbation to rude comments and all other types of issues and behaviors that you guys are dealing with. So let me know and comment below what are some of the topics that you really need help with immediately and I will make you the videos just for you. You name it, you got it. There is nothing we can't accomplish together. So remember, together we can. If you wanna know every time I post a new video, hit that little bell down there. It's the notification bell and you'll be told when I've released a new video. See you next time. Hey caregivers, I know you're here because you care and I know that it's because you want to learn as many tips and tricks as you can get up your sleeves and believe me I know you need them. So make sure you like and subscribe and that way you'll make sure you won't miss anything.